Hi, in this tutorial, I will explain how to use a Node.js process uh, in conjunction with AWS SDK in order to upload images on the S3 bucket of the AWS. What you see now on the screen, it's the dashboard from AWS console and we have here the bucket section. So basically, I'm going to just create a new bucket called web dev bucket and then uh, make sure that you select ACLS enabled in order to ha uh, have the access control public and then unclick this one, click I acknowledge and then create the bucket, right? So the first thing is to create the bucket. Probably you already have one, but for the sake of the example, I will create a new one. Okay, that's done. Uh, now the second thing, the code, yeah? On, in Node.js, we have um, um, standard uh, express uh, server so we have uh, const express requires express express file upload because I'm using it to receive the images from uh, postman but basically you can include this in a CMS or some uh, control uh, page from a web app to send the images to AWS bucket and then uh, I'm building the app right express execution and then the port 3017 and then uh, AWS equals requires AWS SDK. Then we need to config the AWS and we have US East 1. Although I was seeing here Central, it seems that uh, it was not working with Central but it with East. Then of course the middlewares of the JSON and file upload maximum 50 megabytes and then uh, the credentials added to the S3 uh, uh, SDK part of the AWS, right? So new AWS is free and then credentials. Uh, those you can find in the, uh, your account settings or something like that. Okay, and then the route itself is just a simple slash route and it's composed of two blocks. Basically, we have the upload params, which will be the uh, parameter passed to the upload method of the S3. And this is the uh, most important part I spent like few hours yesterday to figure out what works right so first one buckets is the bucket name as uh, you have it in here right web dev bucket second the key is the file name right because normally you might have here a rec like from request and then you have request.files.file.name uh, but I just made some destructuring here so the key is the file name the body very important it's going to be buffer from and then files file data right this is the part that took me uh, the most yesterday to figure out and then the content type of course meme type will be probably image slash uh, jpeg or png or whatever and then also don't forget about the acl uh, with the value public read okay and then you get just the method upload and um, as i just mentioned you up, uh, pass as the first uh, parameter the upload params and then a callback function with uh, logging in the console the error data uh, data meaning success in our case and finally we have uh, response send okay right i just want to send a message to the postman server i'm just uh, running the server I'm going to use nodmon server.js, that's the name of the file. Yeah, as you can see, the, uh, the server started. And now moving on to Postman, and I'm going to close this one for the sake of the example and create a new one for you to see from scratch. I'm just going to pass here the server address, which is on port 3017, as I mentioned. And then you go to body, form data, and then you select file and the file name, which is going to be Noam Chomsky this time. I'm going to hit send. Uh, small issue here. Right, exactly. I just have to put here the file because as I mentioned when I was explaining the code, you see here files.file. .file. So this name here, file, is coming from here. If I change this, I don't have to change this also. Right, okay. Um, we try again, send. Great, we get the OK. We get also the link of the file uploaded. Click on it. As you can see, it works. And refreshing the, this page will show us the new file uploaded, right? So it's more convenient than coming into the dashboard of the AWS and hitting upload. 
right is you can um, do this directly from your um, cpanel your interface of web app also there is a method to list all the files so it's very useful to interact with the content on your s3 bucket if you have any further comments please uh, add them to this uh, clip uh, all right thanks